Thanks, Sus. Well, imagine becoming a star again at the age of 79. Well, Hatta Brooks, the queen of boogie, is out of retirement and performing for a whole new crowd. I caught up with her this week at a club where she's wowing them once again. But when I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Cause she had you believe she wasn't deceiving you. Thought she was playing the square. And it... In the 40s and 50s, Hatta Brooks was musical royalty. The likes of Duke Ellington, Charlie Barnett, and Artie Shaw played background for her hard-driving piano beat. She made movies with Humphrey Bogart. I had knew you want to you. He was great. I loved him. And I think the feeling was mutual. She was the queen of boogie and in Los Angeles in the 50s, a pioneer in television. Well, that's true. I was the first uh, black woman to have her own show, television-wise, yes. And uh, I understand that uh, on Sunday was my show, and Tuesday they borrowed it up here in San Francisco on KGO. In the 60s, she continued to appear in clubs, but became disenchanted with the rudeness of American audiences and headed for clubs in Australia. Whereas I couldn't keep 25 people here quiet, and he had 800 people that he seated, and you could hear a rat walk on cotton, if that's the same. Brooks, a petite woman who will celebrate her 80th birthday next week, returned to the U.S. and in 71, retired. Your baby's left you. Don't be so sad. But that's not the end of her story. In 1993, she was honored by the Rhythm and Blues Foundation as a pioneer. In 1995, she had a cameo in The Crossing Guard with Jack Nicholson. Well, uh, Mr. Nicholson, as I can truthfully say, found out I wasn't an extra. He wanted to talk to me. And he came over and he said, I've enjoyed your music, Miss Brooks. And I said, thank you very much, and who are you? Still salty and feisty, Hatta Brooks has found a whole new audience of young people and is back singing in clubs. They're very quiet, they're beautiful. They listen, they appreciate. And I can say yes, I'm enjoying it. Any time, any place, anywhere. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Up next, Tony Tantan.